So I started my career in 2010. Uh, worked as a physics lecturer initially at Ramaya PU College, and uh, was a part of the integrated batch over there. And um, uh, went along with Ramaya for uh, ten years. And followed by that, uh, I went for a certain time with Akash, and then finally ended up over here. That is in my path. Um, basically, in, throughout my career, I have never uh, reached the rural students. Actually, this was the first time when uh, Maipal started uh, taking an initiative of going across with competitive with that of the rural students, actually. So, uh, when we started over here, we never knew that how actually the rural students used to uh, 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 cope up with our, uh, our method of teaching or probably they will, uh, how, how is their reactions. So it was completely different. So if you uh, tell me that how was my uh, experience in teaching the students is so completely different with the students what are there in Bangalore or with that of the urban cities, I would say. So rural area students are more aspirant. Uh, they are um, uh, very much studious and uh, have a higher amount of potential uh, as compared to that of the urban ones. The most important thing what I feel like the student should have is nothing but a, a rigorous preparation uh, and confidence. See, basically what happens is uh, when a student uh, has any doubt in any of the uh, 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 well, part of the physics or in any of the subjects, initially what happens is nothing but they usually try communicating with their friends. So when, when they want to clarify a doubt, what they do is nothing but they try communicating with their friends. And when the doubt gets clarified from the friend side okay usually whatever the clarification is that that might be a correct ones or that might be a wrong ones also okay so we don't want this to happen what do we want is nothing but the first step of clarification the student should feel is us so that whatever clarification they get for adults it is genuine so that is how we want to develop so even if it's a rigorous kind of a work also what we are trying to do is post our normal teaching hours we are with them throughout the Time, wherever they are comfortable in studying so basically whenever they have a doubt like say for example if they have a doubt at night 12 o'clock and they post up a question okay we make or we ensure that the doubt is been clarified within next day 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock so this is what we are doing so the first thing is nothing but uh, first we have to create an awareness or we have to create uh, the seriousness of the examinations okay and the second thing is nothing but once they get to know about the seriousness they start understanding your classes when you go across with the classes they start understanding and when they feel that whatever is going on the board or when they feel that whatever is going on the class is something valuable you need not do anything they'll be just with you unless and until your content is not valuable unless your content is not reaching them that is the point where they feel that something is missing but when your content becomes valuable when you when the teacher is also as serious as the student okay so the student automatically starts following you basically most of the tuition centers or most of the coaching classes how do they run is nothing but they work on the process of uh, uh, maximum mass gaining chapters so when when we see that uh, probably when uh, the the curriculum starts the first and the second chapter might not be that much hour consuming or not that much time consuming possibility is there that the sixth chapter or the seventh chapter is the one which is time consuming chapter the more the time the chapter consumes that is the more amount of weightage of the marks so basically what happens is when the academic year starts at the college level the first chapter started from the college and the coachings, they start with some 6th or 7th chapter. Because those are most marks getting chapters. And when this happens, this is where the student finds it difficult. He doesn't understand whether to concentrate on the college syllabus or whether to follow with that of the coaching curriculum. Okay, and that is where he finds it very much difficult in order to understand or in order to perform in the coaching examinations or say for example with the college examinations. In MyPal, what we are doing is nothing more, we are completely against it. So what we are trying to do is nothing but we are trying to see that the college curriculum starts at the initial stage. Let them finish with the first chapter, let them finish with the second chapter. We wait until then. Okay, when they are completely finished with the first chapter, we start doing with the competitor on what that chapter itself. Student doesn't feel that burden because he is already done with the first chapter. We are also doing with the same chapter. 
now he doesn't have that uh, uh, what what excuse to tell saying that uh, i have been preparing for the college so i couldn't perform in my pal or i have been preparing for the my pal so i couldn't perform in college so that it's the same thing Uh, what do we do is nothing but uh, initially we start our uh, academic plans one month post to the college has already started with their academics let's say for example they have started in the month of may we will start in the month of june okay and we'll make sure that we will wind up the whole syllabus by december this is what we do because the college also starts winding up the uh, exam so uh, all the syllabus by december okay post december january february and march these are the three months where the college will be completely indulged into practical examinations preparatory examinations final examinations the centers they have to check which centers they have to write down their examinations probably chances are there that wherever there are here and there mistakes whatever they are doing or say for example there are some uh, uh, students who are uh, uh, in a position of getting symptoms okay the college will be trying for their best because they have to produce results out of them okay so these three months we will not actually uh, touch the college us or we will not interfere into the college curriculum okay we are completely out of that okay so once they have finished their final examinations again until the examinations that is competitive examinations that will again continue with the revision so which means that we are giving ample amount of time for the college to produce their own results as well as we are trying our best to get the results in the competitive even uh, right from the last year or so we have started with something called a centum for sure okay where we are open that if at all the college is feeling a particular student wants to get 100 out of 100 but it is not possible from their side then they can just uh, communicate with us and we will take care of that particular student to get on with 100 out of 100 that is what we do okay uh, uh, last year also there was a student who was uh, in a range of getting 43 out of 70 70 marks paper is for a practical uh, oriented subjects so it's 43 out of 70 so we guided them with some 13 14 papers where individually try to work out that where actually you are going wrong what is that you need to represent the answer and uh, where you will get the full marks and then we got them to a range of somewhere around 67 to 68 out of 70 so 43 to 67 okay and uh, usually most of the uh, teachers or most of the uh, college they think that year long if they teach it very much better okay that is where they score yes that becomes a part i agree okay but the whole thing what you should understand is nothing but the evaluator at the valuation end he'll value the paper within six to ten minutes of time so it is not one year of teaching it is neither three and a half year hours of paper what the student has written it is that six and a half minutes of window where the student has to impress the evaluator so that is where we are trying to work on so then that six and a half minutes how we can utilize so that the evaluator gets impressed by the paper uh, so see um, uh, like say uh, when we have a physical class okay what do we do is nothing but personally understand the students and we can talk to them and they will answer us and that is how it is and most of the bondage is created actually post college hours that is nothing but uh, might be we, we meet the students at doubt clarifying section at the parking lot or probably we will uh, they might uh, come to us in a doubt clarifying section and this is how it happens in the college level okay here also we initially developed with the same process that is when we had a doubt clarifying section where we could know about the students but that count you will have it i would say somewhere around five to six percent per class so if you have a class of 100 so five students per class that is what is the count what we have so the success ratio or knowing about the student ratio is very less okay but when you have this particular uh, uh, what i would say is nothing but intelligence in teaching and through digital model that would that is what my is going along with this ratio has increased completely like not five now now i know all the students i'll, I'll uh, just let you know okay say for example um, uh, i if i am in the class okay and probably i'm asking a question fine and uh, what happens is nothing but what might be the reason the student is not getting up and answering uh, even if the student knows about the answer he'll hesitate to get up and answer them the reason is nothing but one he might be hesitant that saying that probably if i get up the other students might laugh on me second thing is nothing but if he has a doubt he will not ask that because probably he might be thinking it is the serious doubt third he might be he might be conscious about not answering some some sort of things okay all of these things are there 
but when it comes to uh, emotions or when it comes to uh, this technology what you are there whatever you answer you are free to know because basically if you answer the other person will not know about it am i right so what happens is nothing he becomes very free so uh, every question he'll at least make an attempt to answer probably it is right or probably it is wrong or in physical classes you might have seen that only if he's very much sure about that particular answer then only he'll answer the rest of the things he'll, he might not so when the technology comes into education this is the best part so what happens is nothing but every student shows an interest in communicating every student uh, starts uh, um, uh, going across with the classes being along with that class the proper sync of the students with that of the classes so this starts increasing the more and more amount of their enthusiasm in the classes in increases this is when we start understanding the students what level are they okay what is the problem of this student why is only one person answering about the objective type but he is not answering about the calculative type so where is that he is going wrong probably such certain things are there where he might understand the question in physics probably he was he is doing a certain mistake in calculation so i can't blame him for physics i should blame him for mathematics the reason is nothing but he is not good in calculation he is not he is good in physics but he is not good in calculation so that is where i have to tap him not on physics correct so these all things will uh, we are the, um, trying to understand the students having a proper sync with them trying to understand them individually these are the things which will come up with technology basically uh, uh, see uh, even if we talk about saying that this is a digital class it doesn't actually appear like digital it is as good as physical class only so whatever the emotions we see in the students or whatever the if he is a uh, uh, one person is fear, fear, seem to be like losing interest in the class or probably he is always occupying the last benches or probably he is not interested in one of the subject or he is interested in other subjects so it is exactly the same thing what we see it in the digital class also okay so you can tap them there you can talk to them there you can uh, utilize them there uh, as good as how you are doing in the physical classes itself so completely in the same manner okay so uh, if you ask me that how is that uh, you are catching up with the emotions because i don't feel any kind of a difference there so what is there uh, what is uh, what happening in the physical class the same thing is happening in the digital class also okay so um, uh, neither i can tell you that uh, no this is a uh, these are certain things where i can tap them on or these are certain things which i used to do it in physical i am not able to do it here no it is exactly the same okay so the same uh, uh, pattern we teach and the same way we carry on with the classes